Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be unboxing and testing my new film camera. Alright, so this is a huge box and it feels very heavy. Okay, I messed with the packaging. Alright, so they put it in a Fuji X-T3 box and honestly that's better than them just shipping it randomly just in bubble wrap. I'm trying not to rip this just in case I need to return it for any functionality reasons. All right, looks like we got our lens here. This is the 75 millimeter Zenza Bronica. Okay, it does look like there's a little bit of dust or fungus in it. No, that looks kind of dusty. We will see how it performs. Okay, and he threw in a roll of expired Portra 400. This should be pretty fun. Got the battery, there we go. Now for the Bronica. Okay, all right, cool, okay. So this seems to be an extra lens. This lens is clean, no dust, no fungus, thank God. So we got the Bronica ETRSI body. There we go. And now here are the cool things the owner threw in a waist level finder as well as a prism finder. So I have two viewfinders to look through. I was gonna buy two regardless, so the fact that they threw it in was really cool then. All right, so we got our Bronica ETRSI body. We got an extra lens. We got an expired roll of Portra 400. We got the prism finder and we got the waist level finder. Okay, kind of weird of me to smell it, but the camera does have that old thrift store smell and I absolutely hate that thrift store smell. So if any of you know how to get that out of cameras, uh, if it's just over time, let me know in the comments. All right, everyone, so we got the Bronica ETRSI unboxed. And if you're not familiar with this camera, it is a medium format film photography camera. If you're not familiar with medium format film, it is essentially a bigger negative than 35 millimeter film. So you get a just overall more detailed image than you would normally get with 35 millimeter. And while this doesn't seem to be in the best cosmetic shape, the reason I bought it from this seller was because the seller had said that he had put it through 20 rolls of film and had no issues. And overall, it was a good deal. And before we go out and shoot our first couple test rolls, I'm gonna YouTube how to load this camera. That looks pretty clean. Portra 400 BC. I think this is a more saturated version of Portra. Okay, there we go. All right, we are locked and loaded, so let's go. All right, so we are on the outskirts of Redlands, California, and I see some houses that I want to shoot, and there's also this trail that leads all the way down, so hopefully I can get some cool landscapes and houses for today. And also since the Kodak Portra 400 expired in 2012, you're supposed to overexpose one stop for every decade, so it's been one decade, so we're gonna overexpose by, we'll do ISO 250. Okay, so F11, one over 125th. Taking the dark slide out. All right, got the first photo. Let's go. After that, I walked down to the trail to get a different angle of the house next to it, but there wasn't any shots that I liked. What I do like is this camera though. Okay, unfortunately I am running out of daylight pretty fast. Once I started driving, I started realizing, dang, the sun is going down quick. So um, we will see how many photos I can get. So I'm kind of running out of time and I'm trying to remind myself this is just a test roll. So I'm gonna get a shot of this little schoolhouse. And I like the way that there's like this giant cloud in the background, so. We'll get that. All right. One photo down the drain. All right, at this point, there were no more photos that I took for that day. And unfortunately, it was too dark. So I had to call in quits for today. But a couple days later, we started off strong with a portrait of all of our stuffed animals. No, that's perfect. My girlfriend gives them personality, so I really get attached to them. So this photo means a lot to me. The next day, my girlfriend Alex and I went to Ikea to buy some shelves, and she was looking so cute in her little Karopi bag, so I had to get a photo of that. This photo gives me very 500 days of summer vibes, and I love it. This shot is very underexposed, but I still like it, and I still feel like it gives you the essence of what film is. Now we're trying to figure out which shelf would look best with my camera gear on it. And after that, we went to Trader Joe's, so I had to get a couple shots of that. And I actually think this might be my best composition. 
Across the street, there was this alley that led directly to the AMC movie theaters, and the light was hitting the theater just perfect, so I had to get a shot. All right, so that was it for my unboxing and testing video with the Bronica ETRSI. And I gotta say, I'm incredibly happy with my experience shooting with the Bronica and also with the test photos. Initially, I was nervous about how the photos would turn out just because I had planned to shoot more landscapes, but that was a pleasant surprise because I got to kind of take a step back from trying to shoot that and shoot more personal things that mean more to me. And also I think that's one of the really cool appeals with shooting on film is just that the photos feel much more timeless and they feel more tangible. And the Bronica ETRSI, I gotta say my experience shooting with it, it was really good. The build, it is significantly heavier than my Mamiya 645 Super, but it actually feels less plasticky and more better well built than the Mamiya. And it also does have a leaf shutter. So I believe that means the shutter is inside the lens and it produces a different sound when the shutter goes off. And I actually really like that. Yeah. Then I wanted something that felt really fun and inspiring to shoot with and this camera is exactly that so i'm really excited that i picked this up for a good deal and it's functioning anyways that's all for this video i just want to say thank you for watching and i'd love to hear in the comments about your experience when shooting bronica or if you're interested and curious about picking up a bronica and if you have any questions about this one specifically i don't know too much about it but i'll try my best to answer it so yeah again thank you for watching